Welcome, everybody. Um, welcome to the uh, second Rotten Society uh, virtual meeting and the eighth international symposium in microneurosurgical anatomy. Today, we're going to celebrate Professor Rotten's uh, life and legacy. He is the master and mentor of several generations of neurosurgeons. The Rotten Society came up as an uh, idea from several Rotten Fellows uh, that we joined sometime after Professor Rotten's uh, uh, death and when he passed away, because we wanted to carry on on his legacy and continue expanding the knowledge of surgical anatomy into the field of uh, neurosurgery. There is a president of this society, which is the International Symposium on Microsurgical Neuroanatomy, which was first hosted in Japan in 2002, and. Uh, 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 by uh, Dr. Matusima, who organized it. And there have been six of these symposiums, four of them in Turkey and one of them in Brazil, hosted by Professor Evandro de Oliveira. Two years ago, we celebrated the first Rotom Society meeting in uh, uh, Tianjin, China, organized by Dr. Tong, and it was the seventh international symposium. That was a very successful meeting with a spectacular uh, faculty and uh, numerous attendees. And as we were told by Dr. Tong, uh, a meeting with a very deep influence in Chinese uh, neurosurgery, following Dr. Rotten's uh, goal. People would say, why another society? This pretends to be just a, a small society, a society for the study of microsurgical neuroanatomy and technique with three main goals. One is to make neurosurgical operations more gentle, accurate, and safe through the knowledge of anatomy, as Professor Rotten taught us. Two, to facilitate anatomical research that will improve our understanding and surgical approaches. And three, to ensure that this field is embraced by the next generation of neurosurgeons. And these are the goals of this meeting. As you will see, we will have many masters of neurosurgery showing how to do accurate, gentle, and safe surgery. But we'll also have uh, younger fellows that are doing new anatomical research aiming to improve and expand our field. And we truly hope that with this meeting, the next generation is heavily influenced. The tradition of working in the lab and spending time to learn anatomy and techniques has been uh, carried by giants and pioneers in our field like Professor Jasahil and Evandro de Oliveira and Professor Rotten. As Dr. Rotten used to say, we want to go to the lab to do perfect anatomical dissections simply go because we want to do as possible, as perfect as possible, surgical operations. We want to develop Broton's X-ray through vision. The best image guidance is the knowledge of microsurgical anatomy. We want to translate from the lab to the OR, as Professor Evandro Oliveira saw us many times with his mastery. And we want to continue following Dr. Broton's example with his teachings, showing the next generation of surgeons anatomy and techniques with the same enthusiasm that he always had. This meeting is hosted in the Bay Area, San Francisco Bay Area, where Stanford University is uh, located, an area of great tradition and innovation. And this is the theme of our meeting, tradition and innovation. I want to uh, acknowledge the companies that have supported this meeting. These companies provide us with uh, technical innovations that are key for our daily work, but also they are key in supporting our educational activities. These are KLS Martin, Medtronic, Mizuho America, Mutual America, Stryker, Stores, and Spyway. And I would also like to thank our CME office for the great work for US-based physicians. Remember, these are, this is an event that you can claim credits for. I will also, look all, I will also like to uh, thank the support of uh, our Stanford University, Dr. Gary Steinberg has been our uh, chairman for uh, 24 years, and you will hear from him later uh, in innovation of cerebrovascular surgery. And we're excited to welcome uh, Mike Lim as he will take uh, help us take the department to, to a new level. I would also like to acknowledge Jenny uh, Visitacion, my uh, admin assistant, who has done a phenomenal work putting all this together with us. And of course, my esteemed uh, uh, colleagues and friends from the uh, Rotten Society board meeting. All of them have, a, have had an enormous role in developing this. Among all of them, I want to highlight Professor Evandro de Oliveira, master, mentor, hero, 
He represents the supreme art of microsecurity. Uh, tomorrow, we will have a very special uh, session dedicated to him. Dr. Wen will be leading this session about his mastery, his legacy, and his philosophy. We will also have Dr. Martins, Karina Martins, along with Dr. Sorensen, who uh, developed the Rotten Collection, as many of you know. And they will be sharing with us very important knowledge on how to work in the lab, teamwork, and newest techniques for laboratory research. For those of you interested in developing a lab or improving your lab, this will be a very useful session. To start this session, we'll have a very special guest, which is Alice Roton, Alice Blasak Roton. She is the uh, oldest daughter of Professor Roton, Dr. Uh, Alice Roton, and she will share with us the great values that Dr. Roton also taught us, uh, the family values. He treats all of us as family, even like children, and she will share this very important facet of uh, Professor Roton. We have the very important presence of the Japanese Rotten School that, as you know, is the most numerous uh, number of fellows uh, from Dr. Rotten and some other masters of micro neurosurgery from the Japanese uh, neurosurgery. And we are honored to have them, all of us, joining us. Today, this afternoon, we have these uh, truly spectacular surgeons, cerebrovascular samurais, sharing their expertise, also in topics related to skull-based surgery and uh, brain surgery. It's been such a privilege to work with Dr. Morcos. I thank him very much for his support to the society and to put together this program and this meeting. Uh, himself along with Dr. Rubino, my dear friend, had uh, made a great session on cerebrovascular skull based surgery. This will happen uh, uh, next uh, weekend. Professor Tong, um, who some of you know, is a key person in China because he helped spreading Dr. Rotten's labs across China and deeply influences influence his uh, peers over there. He'll have, uh, uh, he will be showing us tomorrow uh, in a, a spectacular session on bypass with two giants in our field, uh, Dr. Mike Lauton and, and Baskaya, some of the most demanding and difficult operations uh, such as bypass surgery. And I'm very excited to hear this lecture from Dr. Tanikawa on his mentor, uh, because a lot of this meeting is about mentorship, uh, Kamiyama's instruments and surgeries. I think it will be a spectacular uh, topic too. Similarly, we'll have tomorrow night a very exciting session on white matter anatomy and complex brain surgery with Dr. Turi as our special guest. And uh, I've always been an admirer of his tremendous work in the field, caring with Dr. Uh, Professor Jaskill's legacy, the impact of white matter dissection in complex uh, brain uh, surgery. And uh, we'll also have uh, these other two ends, Dr. Aaron Cohen Gadol who you all know because of his role in developing the Neurosurgical Atlas, what a great resource for all of us, along with Dr. Goyle, uh, a genius in a skull-based surgery uh, from India. And of course, uh, we'll have a couple of sessions on skull-based surgery and endonasal endoscopic surgery with my dear friend, uh, Professor uh, Dr. Garner from University of Pittsburgh, where we work together. And this will be tomorrow. We'll talk about endonasal versus open approaches, when to choose one or the other, and we'll end up the meeting sharing with Dr. Goto, a leading skull vision in Japan, uh, what are the limits and how would it push them for endoscopic endonasal surgery. I would say to finalize that not in my wildest dreams, I would have hoped to share with all of you guys in the board meeting, uh, such a privilege to work with you. Uh, I thank you very much and I give you now the voice. Please, uh, Jacques, we wanna hear from you. Thank you, Juan, for this uh, beautiful introduction to this phenomenal meeting that you have put together. And uh, our collective thanks go to you. Before I say my very brief word, I am delighted. I hear that Evandro de Oliveira is with us watching this. Evandro, if you're hearing me, I give you the warmest virtual hug I can give you and your beautiful family. Uh, we always, always think about you. Um, we, we're here, I, in 2016, in February, I had just become the president of the North American Skull Base Society, barely a week, and the news of Dr. Rotten's death came to me and to all of us, and uh, it was uh, it just unbelievably 
uh, painful news to get. And uh, to the young people, perhaps, who are joining us today, perhaps who've never met Dr. Rotten in person, I'd like to read the last paragraph of my eulogy that I wrote uh, within a few days of his death. Uh, Dear Al, if heaven exists, we know you made it there and have already started feverishly rearranging and reclassifying its anatomy to the dismay of all its angels. You may have left us, but we will never have to remember you, for remembrance implies forgetting at first. How can we forget you? Like the fabric of space-time that engulfs us, you created for us the fabric of neuroanatomy and the tools to operate on it in that gentle, delicate, accurate way. Like a true messiah of sorts, you revealed hidden truth to us. Your prodigious intellect has bequeathed thousands of images and notes for posterity. The entire medical community will spend the coming years celebrating and benefiting from your achievements. The NASBS will honor you and celebrate you in our upcoming 2017 annual meeting, which we did, of course. Your boyhood dreams have been realized multiple folds, but you have failed, if it can be called a failure, in one regard, and that is simply because of your unique humility. You thought that all you were teaching us all these years were anatomical maps and facts and techniques, a window to your mind. Little could you suspect in your self-effacing demeanor that your even greater contribution for generations to come is to have enriched our hearts too by allowing us unknowingly a window of exposure into one of the greatest medical souls that have ever lived. And Dr. Rotten, we will never forget you as this meeting is indeed an example of that. Thank you. Beautiful, Jax. That's beautiful. Um, Carolina, please. Sure, Juan. Um, I would like first to, to greet all the panelists, all my friend panelists, and to say to you, Juan, that Dr. Walton would say, and you know these words very much, that this is a world-class program. So mm -hmm. congratulations on your program. And then let me greet everyone in Portuguese. Uh, boa noite a todos os lusófonos e sejam muito bem-vindos à Rotten Society. Essa é uma sociedade acolhedora que só deseja de vocês duas coisas, interesse em anatomia microcirúrgica e a capacidade de se unir para construir, não para subtrair. Para o professor Evandro, que está nos ouvindo, mestre... Seja bem-vindo. Bom <risos> programa e nos vemos em breve. Obrigada. Thank you all. Thanks, Carolina. Uh, Pablo, do you want to address? Pablo, you're muted. Okay. Hello. Thank you, Juan, for the opportunity and congratulations for the um, tremendous scientific program. I will the welcome in Spanish for the Spanish people. Uh, so, por ende, bienvenidos a todos eh, los eh, hispanoparlantes a este meeting. La verdad que es un gran esfuerzo, sobre todo realizado por el comité, especialmente por mi amigo Juan, que realmente ha convocado a grandes cirujanos que casualmente, y no eh, por casualidad, sino por causalidad, son grandes anatomistas también, no solo cirujanos, sino anatomistas de todo el mundo, así que esperemos que toda la información, eh, siguiendo el legado del profesor Rotton, eh, sea muy provechosa para todos, y bueno, que sea un excelente congreso. Bienvenidos a todos. Bravo, Pablo, bravo. Um, uh, profesor Turet, would you like to address the audience? Of course. Uh, first of all, uh, I congratulate you for such a great uh, meeting. In this uh, COVID pandemic uh, crazy period, uh, this is now a historical moment uh, for Rotten Society also. I congratulate you bring together for many people from all over the world. Günaydın, uh, değerli meslektaşlarım, arkadaşlarım. 
böyle bir toplantıda e, bulunmak hepimiz için büyük bir şeref. Profesör Roton şüphesiz ki hepimizin meslek hayatında en önemli rolü oynayan, bizim gelişmemize en büyük katkıda bulunan birkaç e, hocadan, hocamızdan biridir. Kendisini rahmetle e, anıyorum. Işıklar içinde uyusun, toprağı bol olsun. Ve bize bıraktığı bu meşaleyi hepimiz en iyi şekilde değerlendirip daha ileriye, daha güzele doğru iletmeye çalışacağız. Bu arada bu fırsatta hocam, profesör de Oliviera'ya da saygılarımı iletmek isterim. Çok teşekkürler. Thank you. Thanks, Dr. Ture. That's fantastic. Um, can we please have Dr. Abe address our Japanese audience? Okay, uh, thank you very much, Fang. It was such a great meeting. And uh, let me introduce uh, in Japanese. So, Nihon no mina san, ohayo gozaimasu. Ano, kono kai wa 2 nen mai ni chugoku de daiki kai ga saremashite, hon kai ga Stanford Daigak no Fang Carlos Fernandez Miranda kyoji ga tsukutte moraimashita. 小林先生、日本から小林先生、松島先生が中心で、この会を運営していただきまして、非常に素晴らしいプログラムになっております。今週末、来週末と、フリーで見られますんで、皆さんどうぞお楽しみください。Thank you very much. <laughs> with uh, Dr. Kobayashi for his presidential address. Please, see it.